Hi, I'm Todd Jones, host of the podcast Press Box Access. Here's a clip from my interview with Christine Brennan. Christine discusses the popularity of figure skating and the sport's extraordinary athleticism. You think about it, you know, there's no, uh, when, they, when a skater goes up for a jump, you know, they're, they're basically on a quarter inch blade of steel on hmm. ice. So it's very slippery, of course. And they go up for a jump and they're a gold medal favorite, right? I mean, and they come landing and crash down, you know, on their hands and knees or whatever. And it's over. There's no second free throw. There's no third strike. There's no fourth down. There's it. it's the most non mm. most non negotiable moment of decision I think in sports. Well, I did. I mean, yeah, I remember even in golf. Like you know, think about golf. I cover a lot of golf. You know, you can. Okay, that it, maybe you lost it the Masters when you put it in the drink on thirteen, going for it on a par five, but you still can try to make it up in 14, 15, right? And figure skating, I mean, if you fall, especially in an Olympics, it's basically over. Well, I remember being at the Salt Lake Olympics and at the final for figure skating, I think it was the men's final, I'm riding on deadline, and um, the guy comes out to do his routine and the, get ready, he, he stops in the middle of the ice, the place goes totally quiet, and I realized, oh, I get it now. There's so much pressure on this guy right now. I mean, before the music started, it's quiet. And you're right. There's no room for air at that point. And that's when it really struck home to me that, no, that but besides the great athleticism that these folks have, there's this real pressure of competition that maybe uh, if you don't appreciate if you're not exposed to it. Well, and they create the action. It's like, it, like in that, it's like a baseball pitcher, right? Um, because nothing happens. No one's coming at you. You know, you you you're standing there, and yeah, because it's music and it's, it's the costumes and makeup. You know, you're kind of like, you know, it's it, there. Obviously, there's there's been opportunity for derision from those who want to do that with people. And but if you look at it, just the pure athleticism, it's extraordinary. Again, a different time because um, it's still there, of course. And at the Olympics, we care about about figure skating, but the sport's popularity has waned. Of course, it had nowhere to go but down because we should say. Because really, I think the key moment when people are still listening to us and going, really, this Tanya Nancy thing? Get this. When they skated in the short program in Norway at the end of February 1994, uh, the TV ratings at CBS did those Olympics. The TV ratings, uh, it was the sixth highest rated show yeah, like, in television. It was like a 48 or something. 48.5. Yeah, 48, 48. Half the nation watched. It was tape delayed. Everyone knew the result because the results were on the radio. People told me they listened to play-by-play -play of figure skating on the radio. I'm not making that up. That is a true story. That's how big a deal this was. Six highest rated show in television history. The last match, who shot JR, one episode of Roots, two Super Bowls involving Montana and the 49ers, and Tanya Nancy. Not not viewers, because now we have more people watching television than back in 94. In terms of percentage of televisions, never, six highest rated ever, no one will ever touch it.